afternoon, everyone. This is Jared Rand, and welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call for 3 p.m. Eastern. December 31st, 2018, New Year's Eve. Looking at the new energies that will be flowing in. Uh, the energies for 2018 were uh, spiritually intense energy. We are in an 11 universal year. And we're going to be launching into the new year heartfelt, heartfelt, easygoing, easygoing, and expressive energy for the new year of 2019. Number one, it's a three universal year. And it will go on the first week of the year and bring in some spectacular cosmic alignments, which will begin everybody's journey of an abundant, prosperous, joy-filled 12 months ahead. You look at, on Friday, Mercury enters Capricorn, which means that's granting the steely focus to actualize your New Year's intentions. The first new moon of 2019 falls on Saturday and is also ruled by the ambitious billy goat, which fuels your desire to root down deeper, set your sights higher. Now, what's more, this is lunation is also a partial solar eclipse, which will bring in the opportunity for a much needed course correction, just as you're about to set sail. Now, this, this is overflowing Capricorn energy, and it may at times feel relentless. Going with the flow will serve you better than panicking. Remember, you're the master, so you are the captain of the ship. So the big, bold energies that the universe is sending over the next days, weeks, and months are all setting you up to ensure 2019 is your best year ever. So you know, that's good, strong positive energy and we are changing that uh, from you know the negative uh, pulling and uh, stressful energies that humanity has been engulfed in forever I mean this this energy has been you know forced uh, black magic uh, onto humanity and we are coming out of it. And what I mean coming out of it, we're talking, you know, there's two, two avenues that I don't think people grasp much of, is one is that the physical, right? When I mean the physical is coming out of that. You have the spiritual, which is free, fluid. The problem is, is that the spirit has been trapped as well by nefarious energies that have kept the spirit in this redundant, repetitive incarnation cycle over and over and over and over and over again. So that is being eliminated. It's melting away. It's trans being transmuted in neutralized substance. So what we have is we have a freeing uh, an expansiveness of knowing, awareness, all of the meditations that we've been doing, piece by piece, picture puzzle by picture puzzle, snapping them into place, putting them all together, and 
forming our paradise, uh, heaven on earth. So we look at all of the things that we have entertained through the year of 2018, all of the things that have transpired. And we begin to realize that we truly are mastering the flow of energy, which means that we become more aware, more knowing, and more clear of our thoughts, our actions, taking into consideration our being grateful and thankful that we are mobile, that we can move around in the three-dimensional uh, atmosphere because of these bodies. And the awareness we've carried through this year and the well over 300 uh, meditations has made a profound impact on the planet and the civilization. You cannot not make that kind of impact. Performing meditations every day at a specific time, a power time of 3 p.m. Eastern, on a continual basis, day in and day out, every single day. It, there's just, there's no way it cannot be powerfully effective. Subtly shifting awareness and knowing of the civilization, of the planet of all life. And when we look at life, which is the highest of anything in the universe, it is the ultimate life. And we are life. And to be thankful and grateful for this, you see what happens, how we get shifted, how we become uh, fragmented from really appreciating life until, see, many don't appreciate it until it's about to end, that the body is about to cease. And the sadness there is that the spirit wasn't able, in most cases, to accomplish what it came here to do in this body. Because we get pulled away in so many different directions, we get pulled away and uh, confused and lost. And being grateful and thankful and appreciative about life wanes. We forget. We concentrate on worries, stresses, and fears. Uh, we concentrate on negativities. It's not easy, see, it, 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 and it, it's not something that you can just go Phoop, and it's out of the way. It, because we've been so conditioned, we have been so trained, we have been so uh, manipulated into this belief mechanism, the system. And I'm sure a lot of you are looking at it at this point uh, it's just absolutely nonsense, all of it, unacceptable, just just doesn't have any grip. Uh, it's total waste of existence of life to be in a system of control, suppression, aggression, manipulation, ego, uh, uh, attitude, uh, criticism, judgment, all of these things. There's, why would they, why would we ever entertain them? Because that's what we were taught. And it's appropriate now to really embrace life, to know what it is. It's our existence. It allows us to expand. It allows us to learn it allows us to gain knowledge. It allows us to experience so many wonderful things. Life. How many times have you gone into meditation and you've thanked the energies 
prime source creator God, all that there is, the source of everything, of all creation, how happy and how appreciative you are of the life that you are participating in. It's an energy. Believe it or not, not all spirits have the opportunity to get a body and to experience life. So it is a phenomenal thing when each of us are able to inhabit a body and experience for a period of time, short period of time, what it is to be in the physical, how we can experience it, interact with each other. You know, we're a bunch of lights. We really are. We're a bunch of uh, uh, divine light energies that inhabit physical forms. That's what we are. If we left the physical forms and, we, and then we see each other, we would see light, divine light energy. So in this meditation, life the celebration of life for us, each other, ourselves, and for all of the life on this planet and throughout the solar system. A tremendous celebration of life. It is the highest honor and the most sacred energy in the universe. Life. Everything is life. And, and, and it's enjoying its existence in whatever form it has taken, it has inhabited. There's nothing that is not alive. There is no such thing as dead. All right? The body ceases, the spirit continues. The doom and gloom descriptions of this civilization are soon to melt away. So if you will, remember that you are entering a celebration of life. Not material things, nothing to do with any of the three-dimensional. The point is, is that you're celebrating life. So if you will, go to the place where... You are not going to be interrupted, which I'm sure most of you are. And as I talk, relax. Relax the body. Go into peace. Silence. If you fall asleep, fine. Float with it. Flow with it. Spirit may decide that it wants to hover above while the body rests. Many different reactions. So you relax the body. Let it go into peace. You are in the now. You are always in the now. And you are moving to celebration of life, of your life, of all life. And as you relax, you want to breathe. And as I talk, you want to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. As you breathe in through the nose, you want to hold it 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. You want to exhale it. You want to do this at least six times as I talk. And as you're breathing and you're relaxing, you're breathing in through the nose, divine positive energy. And this, this energy clarifies and makes everything vibrant to you of how phenomenal life is. You look beyond the surface of life and you look at what is rather than the illusion and the purpose of this life that we all inhabit is to experience the physical. That's what, we, that's what life is, experiencing the physical. Because all are spirit. All are spirit. So when you choose to 
enter a different form so that you can be carried around and be able to touch, feel, smell, experience things is a wonderment. It is spectacular. It is the celebration. Just as we are approaching a new year full of phenomenal occurrences, it's part of the life. That's what it is. We're celebrating life. Without this physical form, we would not be celebrating life. We would be in the etherical, the spiritual existence. In the physical form, we are celebrating life. We are exuberated. So as you breathe this in, it's filling you full of this clear awareness of the celebration of life. Does it matter who you are, what you are, where you came from, where you were born, how much money you have, what you own, none of that. What you don't own, what you don't have, all of it, everything, both sides, in between. That just melts away. This is for all of us to in celebration of life. Our reward is the now. It's always the now, always in the moment. So as you're breathing this in, it's filling you, it's firming up, justifying, uh, clarifying this simple knowing of the celebration of life. As you breathe out, you're breathing out all of the things that have distracted you throughout this year that have pulled you away from celebrating life, from being in joy, from being in happiness, in prosperity and abundance. All of those things which you already are, but have been distracted and not embraced them and not lived them. You're letting all that go. You look out the window, it's it's no longer dirty. It's as clear as if it wasn't even there. Just let it all go. Release it. Express it out. If you feel that you have an urge or a desire or a need to forgive yourself for anything, maybe it's been for not paying attention to you or to your higher self, whatever it may be, forgive yourself. Flush it away. You are cleansed, you're clean. And then you fold into yourself. You're renewed. Go in through the heart mind. You work from the heart mind. You think from the heart mind. You view from the heart mind. You go, you go into the heart mind through it. And you flow deep and up, deep and up, deep and up. And as you go in, you feel, feel and find yourself totally in a capsule of beautiful, powerful energies of the golden light, pink light of Prime Source Creator God and the emerald green flaming healing light of Archangel Raphael and the purple transmuting flame, the violet ray and the white fire. These are all flowing around you, in you, fortifying your celebration of life. And as you do this, you become more and more and more. You expand your deep eternal love. You are protected beyond, beyond the knowing. You are protected beyond creation. The 
only invitation is for more deep eternal love. The only thing can penetrate. They're flowing with these energies, bristling. You turn and in total exuberation and joy, you immediately embrace your higher self. You become one with your spirit, your higher self, your God's spirit. You're filled with joy, happiness, bliss, and simple. It's just a simple, wonderful, cleansing, releasing lightness that comes over you, through you, in you, from your higher self to your physical body. It is a wonderful, lifting, uplifting, energizing, joyous, infusion from prime source creator God. You blend. You are heaven on this earth. Arm in arm and hand in hand, we joyously form our circle and we effortlessly begin to float up above the planet. And as we're floating up above the planet, in total joy and appreciation of life, we invite all of the light energy beings who are everywhere in all dimensions, universes, and galaxies, solar systems, both in fluidic, dry, and electric, all of divine light energy of deep eternal love and from deep eternal love to join us in this meditation and come with us. We lovingly, graciously thank them. All, we call all of the archangels, the seraphim, the cherubim, the archetypes, all of the angels of deep eternal love from deep eternal love to join us in this meditation and we lovingly, graciously thank them. We call upon all of those in inner earth and hollow earth of deep eternal love and from deep eternal love to join us in this meditation. We lovingly, graciously thank them. We call upon all of the ascended masters. El Moria, Sananda, Jesus, Gaia, Kuan Yin, Lakshmi. St. Germain, Buddha, Maitreya, all of the ascended masters of deep eternal love and from deep eternal love to join us in this meditation. And we graciously, lovingly thank them. We call upon all of our loved ones who have passed over in this life and all lives of deep eternal love and from deep eternal love that join us in this meditation and they come in the billions. They come and we graciously, lovingly thank them. We feel all of these energies joining us and the light becomes brighter and brighter. and the darkness disappears and the space is elevated to the highest sacredness. We call upon all of the galactics who are assisting those, this civilization on this planet of benevolence, of deep eternal love and from deep eternal love, assisting us in awareness, assisting us the awareness of ascension, and assisting us with breaking free of our bondage. We lovingly and graciously thank them. We call upon all of the energy forms taking on being housed in the following forms. The sprites, the fairies, the elves, the gnomes, Pegasus, unicorn, the elementals, earth, fire, water, air, the mermaids, the dolphins. All of these light energy beings, how 
us in these forms, and we we ask them to join us in this meditation, and we lovingly, graciously thank them. We see our meditative sphere floating above our circle, housing all of our meditations in perpetual motion. It exudes a deep eternal love, the golden white pink light, the emerald green healing flaming light, purple transfusing flame, violet ray, and the white fire. It is everywhere. We are, it is, all is. We all are. We are all one. We are filled with the deepest, deepest, deepest love, tenderness, peace, joy, celebration. For we know how precious and how phenomenal it is for life. We feel the rain saturating the tops of our heads, warm, penetrating through our crown chakra, spreading throughout the entire physical body, inside and out, both etherically and physically, supercharging us to total clarity and harmony. We see the sacredness of the ultimate in the universe of life. We embrace the life as we inhabit these physical forms and we celebrate this life into a new year of new energies of peace, tranquility, joy, abundance, prosperity, easiness, relaxedness, clarity, awareness, forward motion in the now. We embrace ourselves each other, and all life. We infuse and we release to all inhabitants on this planet a cleansing, an uplifting, a beautiful harmony of vibrational frequencies of appreciation, thankfulness, gratitude, humbleness, caring, sharing, bliss, harmony, peace, all in life. We celebrate life. And this new year is life. So as we form and understand with vivid color and clarity, that life is the ultimate in the universe. And we, each and every one of us, ourselves, all of us, all of our brothers and sisters, all life, are in high elation and respect and honor and gratitude to be in life, to be in this life in celebration. Feel it. Embrace it. It saturates each and every one of us all in harmony. Our vibrational frequencies continue to increase through the roof and beyond. We are one. We are deep eternal love. We are spectacular. Join you in the meditation and I will return to close us out.
enthusiasm and excitement, exuberation of celebrating your life, your life energy, being in the physical body, honoring, respecting, nurturing, sending your love out to all of your brothers and sisters, all of humanity, all of the inhabitants of this planet. Of, and sending that clarity, that energy out so that their higher selves can break the bondage between the physical and the spiritual and join them into all of us into this great celebration of life. It's the ultimate in the universe. It's the highest of all honors, life. Imagine the entire inhabitants of this planet celebrating life in high respect, honor, and deep internal love with great humbleness, no ego, no judgment. That is part of paradise. That is what we are creating. That is who we are. Take it with you on this eve of this new year throughout the rest of this day and into the evening and into the morning. Take it with you. Embrace it. It's part of you. Your life celebration in the deepest joy, admiration, respect, and honor, and humbleness unselfishness, deep, deep, deep eternal love and joy. We will be back here on that start of a new year, January 1st, 2019 at 3 p.m. Eastern. Be in joy and great safe honor, respect, humbleness, and deep, deep, deep eternal love for me to all of my brothers and sisters. <laughs>